Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to add rounded corners and unique shapes to your images in Squarespace like these and more with just the click of a button. This is a new Squarespace feature that we are loving. It's super easy to use, so let's check it out. Okay, this one is so easy and quick. Let's just jump right in. So I am using Squarespace 7.1 right now, but this works exactly the same on 7.1 and Squarespace 7.0. So anywhere on your page, click on the blue plus to add an image block. I'm going to just select an image from my library. We can use this stock image and I'll show you all the cool things we can do with this image. So the first really popular thing that you might want to do is round the corners of your image. So under the design tab in the image block, we're going to come down to corner radius and change this number. And you'll see as soon as we start changing the number, the corners of the image start to round. So it's really as easy as that. Now you can get creative with this and create more of an arch shape or adjust different corners to different radiuses. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this image a little bit smaller by heading into my section settings and just making it a little smaller so we can see it. And then I'm going to go back into the image block and under the design tab, you can click on this second button here under corner radius and you can change the different corners to different values. So I could change the top two to 100 and the bottom two to nothing. So you have sort of this arch effect. And you can go and raise these values as much as they will possibly raise if you want to make a proper arch. So for this image, I've changed it to 500 and that seems to be arching well, but this is all gonna depend on the size of your original image. If you go for something more portrait rather than landscape, it will be a little different and obviously the final effect will look quite a bit different. So from here, if you want to make a circle or any other cool, unique shapes, what you can do is click shape up here. So once you click shape, it'll probably put it into a circle. But if you come and actually click on this shape section, it'll open up a bunch of different shapes and a bunch of different ratios as well. So the different ratios will actually crop your image. So if we're working with three by two, you'll see that these different shapes fit the image a little bit better because it originally was more of a landscape image, but whatever works. So there's some two by three options here. And you can see that this is cropping off quite a lot of our image because it was a landscape image and this is much more of a portrait ratio. And then if we come down to one to one, it's just gonna crop it into one to one ratio. So it's really cool. It makes it really easy to add simple, quick, custom shapes without having to do them in Canva first. So this feature is one of the cooler features Squarespace has brought out in a long time, we think, and we'll definitely be using it. Because it is just cropping your image, there is one more thing to be wary of too, is that under content, you can change the focal point. So if it's cropped your image in a place that you don't really like, come into content and hover over this little circle here and click and drag it. And you'll see when I click and drag the focal point, it's gonna crop the image in a different area and it's just gonna focus on the part you want it to focus on. But in this case, because we're using a very portrait style cropping, we're gonna move the focal point left to right and it's gonna show us different parts of the images. Up and down isn't gonna to make too much of a difference. So depending on the crop, you can adjust this focal point to focus on different areas of the images which is really helpful. That means you don't have to do much prep work. You can really just totally use the image focal point with the image cropping in Squarespace without actually having to do anything in Canva or Photoshop beforehand. So that's pretty much it. How to use the new image shapes and adjust the corner radiuses on images in Squarespace. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.